Hey there, I'm Chris Kroll, Editor-in-Chief of Solar Builder Magazine. An efficient rooftop solar installation often starts on the ground, and SunMoto's new NanoRack mounting solution promises more on-the-ground assembly than ever. Here to make the pitch today is Steve Muma, CEO of SunMoto. Hey Steve, how you doing today? Doing great. Good to see you, Chris. So in the in the promotion for NanoRack, I, I I keep seeing that you're noting that uh, it doesn't have rail, but it isn't railless, or you don't want to maybe term it that way. And I'm just kind of curious, you know, why you're drawing that distinction. Yeah, on the surface, that doesn't make sense. Um, we recognize that. Um, I guess what we're trying to do there is that NanoRack does not have rail at all, no rail at all. So by definition, it's a railless system. Uh, the distinction we're trying to make is that railless systems to date um, have not been broadly accepted. Um, they're used by primarily the, the larger national installers who like it for the logistics reasons. Um, but I've, in my almost six years in solar, I've, I've spent a lot of time on roofs. I've talked to a lot of installers and many of them have tried all of the railless systems that come out and they go back to rail because the railless systems on the market now prior to NanoRack require a, just a level of precision, a lot of measuring, and they've, they've got a longer, steeper um, learning curve. It, it, it just hasn't worked for those types of installers. And with NanoRack, we have addressed those issues and we can talk a little bit more about how we've addressed that. But you know, our initial feedback is that all these people that have tried Rayless and didn't like it, they love NanoRack. Yeah, yeah, so uh, I guess there's, Let's get in, into that, right? So I'm an installer who says, you know, I tried uh, the more typical kind of railless approach and it was maybe the learning curve was too steep or I, you know, I uh, couldn't get adjust to it. Um, yeah. You know, what's what's your pitch back to me? So what 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 is what are you doing differently here? Right. So the, the two main things that I always heard from people that said they tried railless and hated it are the level of precision required on the roof because each mount has to be pretty precisely located. There's always some adjustment, but you, you've really got to plan ahead and locate all those mounts properly. So that's number one. And then the second is wire management. The, the big way we've addressed those concerns is just simply to take most of the installation work off of the roof. Um, everything gets attached to the modules on the ground before you set foot on the roof. Um, so as a result, that helps the wire management a lot because before the module goes up to the roof, the MLPEs are attached. Everything's pre-attached to the module frames, and uh, it just makes it so you simply have to put things together. And then, in addition to that, by attaching everything on the ground, the, the only real measurement you have to do on the roof is to just locate the leading edge of modules. And then everything after that just all clicks together. Yeah, and seeing the steps, uh, and, uh, you know, as we're watching the the steps and, and the video uh, today, you know, um, it made me wonder why we haven't maybe always done it this way. You know, it seems like, oh, yeah. Were you just the first to think of it? Or were there some engineering challenges that uh, needed you needed to overcome? Like, I, you know, why hasn't it been typically done this way? Part of it is just is just habit. As industries grow and evolve, um, we, we kind of end up getting, you know, in a box. Well, this is how we do things. We, 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 we have clamps that squeeze the module down. Um, we do the work on the roof. And it's just sort of... You know, it, it, innovation becomes iteration as opposed to, you know, true innovation. And, you know, at, at SunMoto over these last, you know, four to five years, one of the things we prided ourselves on is is trying to step all the way out and, and finding other better ways to do things. Um, you know, we're certainly not the first to attach to the bottom of a module. We're certainly not the first to have tried to do some of the work on the ground. Um, I, I do think we've we've committed to it and gone further than anybody else has before uh, in an effort to just push that envelope in terms of you know what's possible and what can be done. Prior to the launch of NanoRack, uh, last time we spoke, you, you mentioned that one of the big benefits of this new system you were developing would be its speed of installation. Um, and now that it's on the market being installed on roofs, I'm just curious kind of the results you're seeing there. The uh, We have very high expectations uh, for the speed, um, but you, you don't. You don't know for certain how something's actually going to go on the roof until it goes on the roof. And, um, you know, most of the time when expectations are a little bit different than what you expected, that's not necessarily a good thing. In this case, it is a good thing because we've found that it's even faster than we expected. What we're seeing from installers is, 
uh, you know, a 25 to 30 module system can be installed in between two and three hours, start to finish. And the, the genuinely exciting part of that is that since Nanorec is still relatively new, a lot of that, that real world data is coming from people that are installing the system for the first time. So they're at the very beginning of that learning curve. Yeah. And like you said, maybe if, even if there, there is a system that's comparable, maybe it takes a while to get it. Uh, maybe it's a really seasoned crew with that system, right? Versus right. starting out, right? Right. And that's definitely one of the additional benefits that that we were hoping for and are promoting with Nanorack is is just how easy it is to pick up um, because you're you're just doing a lot less stuff on the roof. There's a lot less measuring. Every measurement is an opportunity for error. And you know, when we're able to take a lot of that out of the process, um, it, it just it just really makes the process easier to pick up. I mean, basically the Nanorec installation process, there's two different types of modules to build on the ground. Um, there's there's one sort of configuration for all leading edge modules. There's another configuration for every trailing module. You locate your leading edge modules and everything else just flows from that. Yeah, and I, you know, I, I feel that the ease of installation thing is, is an, an important note as much if not more than the speed aspect of it, just considering the kind of issue of finding qualified uh, solar installers. You know, one of the the challenges that, that installers tell us, especially the ones that are growing and scaling, is is adding new crews and, you know, finding finding high quality people to be on the roof is, is not always easy. So from our perspective, anything we can do to make that process easier for them where they can have Rather than having a crew that consists of four people that are really well trained with Nanorack, you really can have a crew that's one person who really knows what they're doing. And then the rest is just sort of attaching things and hauling it to the roof. It's it's the simplicity really makes that possible. Yeah. So uh, you've kind of already addressed it, but I'm just curious, like what the market reception has been to Nanorack so far. What we hear a lot when we go into a distributor or an installer, it's just racking. You know, it's kind of all the same. And we're offended by that, but we understand it. <laughs> um, but Nanorack's different. You know, we we have a lot of meetings when we're first showing it where people are like, all right, show us your racking. And then we show it and it clicks in and eyes get wide and they light up. And so so that part of it is great. But even better is, I, I, I almost hesitate to say it because it, it just sounds untrue. But to date, every installer that has done a test install of Nanorack has committed to switching to Nanorack. And again, I, I do almost hesitate to say it because it just doesn't sound true, but it is. <laughs> you know, I, I just know there's installers out there that are probably, they have one question on their mind, maybe something you hear a lot, you know, that I haven't asked yet, but I'm just curious, you know, what what that question is maybe that you're getting and, you know, and how, how you'd respond to it. I would say it's probably not a question. It's more of a statement. And I would say what it is from those installers, it would be, come on. And what I mean by that is, you know, every company that comes out with a new product, um, including racking, says how great it is. And 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 I I, and I understand that. You know, I, I'm I'm a I personally am a skeptic. When somebody says something's great, I my natural reaction is to say, yeah, is it? Um, so that's what I would expect people to say, come on, is it, it can't be that fast. It can't be that easy. And, um, and it is like, I, you know, it's, uh, the, the, the feedback just in showing it to people and then people trying it has been that good. So, you know, to the, to the installers whose response is, come on, um, uh, you know, my request would be, you know, take us up on it. Um, you know, we don't, we don't demand that you switch, but we'd love to have you try it. So what are the next steps in the evolution of NanoRack? I mean, is there anything <laughs> or can you just like kick your feet up and say, hey, we, we did it. Uh, you know, we've evolved solar mounts as far as we're, we're going to take them. OK, well, now uh, now my response to you is, is come on. <laughs> OK, <laughs> of course we are. Um, you know, I think one thing we've shown over these last four to five years is that we are we are relentlessly innovative. Um, you know, we, we changed our, our, our company tagline uh, 18 months or so ago to leading by design. And, um, and, and we don't intend to change that. So we, we have, we have several enhancements that uh, are, are already in process and that we're working on for NanoRack. Um, 
we're not at a point where I'm able to share what exactly what they are yet. Um, but I expect we'll have some 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 big new uh, announcements and capabilities to share regarding Nanorack within the next you know three to four months time range. For any interested installers out there who want to you know give it a shot on their own, where can uh, they reach out? Any particular distributors coming direct? Uh, you know, just wherever we can find you. Well, we don't sell direct. We do sell through um, exclusively through distribution, and um, you know we have a have a, a, a growing distribution network covering uh, the majority of the country at this point. I, you know, if you're interested, um, go to our website. Uh, we can easily get you connected to to one of our experts, um, or frankly, call me. I'm always happy to talk about Manorak. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, well, hey, Steve, thanks again for taking the time, and look forward to seeing the uh, you know new enhancements uh, coming up in the next couple months as well. Awesome. Thanks, Chris. Always a pleasure.